This is my last day with the Fujifilm X-T4. Let me tell you why I decided to leave this camera. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. I thought that the last video that I posted a few days ago will be the last one for this year. But recently, well, last day I decided finally to sell this Fujifilm X-T4 for many reasons. I'll talk about them in this video. By the way, I'm filming today's video with the Sony ZV-E10 with the Samyang 12mm f2.0 and it started to rain. I think I'm gonna close it. Well. Finally, it stopped raining. I hope it will not rain now so I can continue filming this one. Uh, well, I decided, as I said before, to sell this Fujifilm X-T4 along with the 18 to 55 millimeters. I got this one in March 2021. It's been like a little bit less than two years. I enjoyed it a lot. It was in my backpack all, all over these, uh, these moments. I took it with me to Lebanon in several places in France, also in the Vosges, in the Alps. I took it in the north of France, at the west coast, in the south, everywhere, in Paris. So this camera was with me almost all the time. I really enjoyed it for photography, for stills photography, as well as for videography. This camera is capable of many things. It's one of the best cameras I've had. But now I decided to invest in something a little bit different. But I wanted to upgrade this camera to the X-T5. I talked about the X-T5 in this video here you can check it but the xt5 was a little bit disappointing for me for one reason it doesn't have a flip out screen so this one is something that i really love about this camera and the xt5 doesn't have it so i will not upgrade to the xt5 but i will sell this one and i will get that you're gonna see in a future video the camera that i will get to replace this one I was talking with some people in Fujifilm and I knew that they are changing a little bit the strategy of their lines, of their camera lines. For example, the X-T5 is dedicated to photography as well as the X-T30, the second version. So the X-T is for photography, for beginners and intermediate or professional, while the X-S10 would be for vloggers, for people starting in videography and filmmaking and something like that. And the X-H2 and the X-H2S will be more for professional videographer and these cameras, all of these cameras are hybrid cameras so they can work perfectly for photography and videography but the X-T and X-T30 and the X-T5 will have some features dedicated for photographers such as the tilt screen and the X-S10, the X-H2, H2S will be more for filmmakers because of the screen like this one so that was the main regret for the xt5 and that's why i will not get the xt5 instead of this one by the way the main reasons why i wanted to change this camera even though i love these dials here these are amazing is that this camera cannot shoot in 4k at 120 frames per second and i need some uh, low, slow motion shots, some slow motion rushes at 4K because now the DJI Action 3 and all the action cameras can achieve it but this camera cannot. I was limited to 1920p in, uh, in slow motion and it's a very good resolution, very good image quality but I wanted something a little bit higher. The second thing that this camera has a rolling shutter that is not very good. You can see the wobbles on the side of the frame when you are moving, when you are panning the camera this way. So that was frustrating for me. The third thing is that even if you have the still and the movie dial here, but if you are changing the settings of the camera and you want to change them again for some other shots, you have to dive in the menu and to change them. You don't have like easy access uh, customized buttons for every single shot you want to do and I want something that can achieve this even if I will lose the vintage design of this camera I have to think differently now I have to get something that works better for me rather than something very nice to have and very pleasant to have by the way I'm recording the audio for this video 
with the Boya mic, I leave the link in the description below, the reference in the description below. Thank you Boya for sending me this wireless mic and I hope that the audio will be good. I will not modify it. I might increase a little bit the gain of the video so you can uh, hear it very well because now I'm in an outdoor situation. I haven't tested the microphone to the fully yet. I haven't tested all the settings in the microphone. I'll be doing a dedicated video about it in the next year. So let's go back to the Fujifilm X-T4. I found something that was really uh, annoying and bothering on this camera when you are using it to film because you cannot record for more than 29 minutes and 59 seconds for every single file. You cannot go more than that. And that was really annoying when you are shooting an event and you want the camera to be on a tripod and to film all the event, you have to go back every 29 minutes and stop recording and start recording again and create another file. So that was one big issue on the camera. And I found this one also on the Nikon Z6 II that I have. You cannot record for a longer time. So I needed something that I can record with for a longer time. So I don't go back and forth to the camera to stop recording and start recording again. If you want to talk about autofocus, this camera has a great autofocus system for photography as well as for videography. Uh, it's really amazing, it's really accurate, it's really fast. It cannot be compared to the new Sony lines, but it's really uh, an amazing autofocus system that it has. But maybe something with an improved autofocus, an improved processor will help the autofocus to be faster, more reliable and more accurate. That will be really helpful for making videos, whether now in outdoor situation or in indoor situation when I'm at home in my home studio. But the worst thing on this camera is the audio. Well, the audio, the built-in microphone are horrible. You cannot use the audio at all. And even if you plug an external microphone to this camera, the preamp inside of this camera is not very good. So I didn't like the audio coming out from this camera. I always try to record my audio well, I started to record my audio on this one, but then I noticed it's not very good. So now I'm recording my audio on some other cameras such as the Sony or the Nikon, or maybe recording directly at home on the computer. But the camera audio is not very good. You can use it, maybe it's usable, but it's not the audio that you can get from a Sony camera. And I knew that Fujifilm are working hard now on the audio quality and they are improving a lot the preamps of their cameras. So why not changing this X-T4 to another Fujifilm camera, which allows me to get better audio quality so I can rely on the camera itself for videography and audio recording at the same time. That's it for today's video. It was a very short one, just to let you know why I'm selling the X-T4 the camera that I loved a lot, that I made lots of videos about it, that I talked about it a lot on this channel. But now I decided to get rid of it and to get something else. I will tell you in another video what I'll get instead of this one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget to put a thumbs up under this video. That motivates me a lot. And I wish you a happy new year. But now let's go enjoy the last day with this one and do some photos. Ciao for now.